event to look forward will be India's inclusion in the Global Bond Index. What will this mean for India? Prashant uh, is standing by the big wall with a detailed explainer. Prashant. Well, thanks very much uh, for that, guys. Now, this is potentially a big one when it comes uh, when it comes through. When it comes through is the real question because we've been waiting for it for a long time. India's inclusion in global bond indexes. Now, speculation and chatter is rife that this is coming, uh, and uh, that is why we are highlighting it here today. Uh, let's get started. Now, just like there are equity global equity benchmarks like those which are run by MSCI, FTSE, etc. Sovereign bonds also have these benchmarks run by, you know, JP Morgan, Barclays, FTSE, etc. And in this piece, we are highlighting how India could be part of these very soon, hopefully. Now, uh, remember, India is the only large emerging market which is not part of any global bond index. Just a bit of backstory to this. Uh, you know, when equities uh, were fully opened up to FPIs in 1993, bonds were not. The approach with bond markets has been cautious all these years because of the potential impact on currency. The primary worry has been that hot money will come out, but more importantly, go out when there is a crisis-like situation and, you know, the currency will get unhinged. So there has been general cautiousness on the bond side, unlike on the equity side. But things started to change from 2013 onwards. Since then, the government has taken various steps like merging the QFI and the FII and other categories into one entity called the FPI and many other things. It all of it kind of culminated in what was created, which is a pool called the fully accessible route. This is nothing but a category into which the government every year puts certain government securities into. And this pool, the fully accessible route, the FAR, this category of bonds is now fully open to foreign ownership. Now, again, go back to the question, why now, you might ask, right? Why should the inclusion happen now? Well, the backdrop to this is uh, the bigger structural theme, which is that India's macro stability, political stability is well recognized uh, by one and all. Uh, but something very immediate has also happened. Let me highlight a few other things. Uh, index managers like JP Morgan and FTSE have had India on their watch list for countries which could be included for a while now. The most significant trigger this year in 2022 has been the exclusion of Russia. Russia had about between 8 to 10 percent weight in these indexes. And uh, Russia got thrown out, not just from the bond index, but from the equity index as well, when they invaded uh, Ukraine. That opened up room and global investors, bond investors in this case, have been keen to rebalance portfolios, which became unbalanced because Russia was out. Uh, so, you know, uh, so that is being perceived, uh, you know, the... the Eagerness to include uh, in, uh, India, which is a very large liquid market, by the way, liquid bond market, by the way, is such that one of the things which was considered a hindrance to India's inclusion, which is uh, non-availability of Indian government securities on a clearing platform like Euroclear, is no longer being seen as a big stumbling block. Uh, as to why there is buzz of a speculation now in September, well, that's very simply because JPM's, that is JP Morgan's, which runs one of the largest bond indexes, their annual review happens in September. And as it has so happened the last year or the year before that, an announcement also comes around this time. That's why we are talking about here and now uh, this time. Just a, just a bit about the Indian government securities market. This totals, the total outstanding value of government securities, the latest as of Friday, is about 86 lakh crore rupees. Uh, well, FAR bonds, which is fully uh, bonds in the fully accessible route, owned by FPIs, total around 59 lakh crores. This is a small fraction of the total bonds which are available in the FAR pool. If you total foreign ownership of bonds in the FAR category and the non-FAR category, it works out to 1.41 lakh crore. 1.41 total size, 86 lakh crores. Now, this is an illustration which will come up next of some of the big global bond benchmarks. Uh, and the passive money, which tracks these uh, as well, you know, in trillions of dollars and billions of hundreds of billions of dollars. And India inclusion could result in between 30 and 40 billion dollars in one time adjustment inflows because India is not part of it. It will come into these indexes with some weight. So 30, 40 billion dollars one time. This is according to, uh, you know, analysts at City, Morgan Stanley and others as well. And after that, uh, according to these same analysts, another 15 to 18 billion dollars in annual flows over the next decade could be uh, expected. Remember that compared to other countries, foreign ownership of Indian bonds is very small. I put that number out, 86 lakhs 
and uh, total size in 1.41, which is foreign ownership. That translates to 1.6% of the total bond market. Uh, and look at other countries. We are, I mean, there is plenty of room to grow, basically, is what I'm saying. What are the implications of an inclusion, a potential possible inclusion? Well, there emerges a new source of money into Indian bond markets, which means that yields move lower generally, right? Uh, and perhaps uh, slightly structurally lower cost of capital as well. Uh, this is also important because, uh, you know, this becomes a big funding source for infrastructure development. It's a new source of money in that sense. Rupee, of course, will have an appreciation bias, which will have to be managed. I'm not going into downsides. It's a whole big subject, and we can't do justice to all of that here in this piece. China was put on the watch list for inclusion in 2017, and the announcement of inclusion came two years later in 2019. The actual inclusion happened in February of 2020. Well, India has been on the watch list for two years now. So going by past precedent, it's possible. So will we see an inclusion announcement this time for real? Well, time will tell, but if it happens, it sure will be a big